Hey, it's all with a PTR video that's going to go over all these new fangled legendaries that are coming in 725. I had an inkling that the class rings and the initial slew of legendaries that were coming were, were not nearly going to be it. So I'm glad that I waited because, well, you know, I have a lot to go over. I'm going to go over all the legendaries so far that are coming in 725 and hopefully they won't give us any more. There are a couple that are missing though, and chances are pretty good that we're going to see them in a future build. So if your class or spec happens to be missing a little something, just wait a while. In a nutshell though, every spec is going to get their own specific legendary. On top of that, every class is going to get a legendary ring. This will give you the flexibility to have another talent in the same row and should cause some interesting gameplay changes. Of course, most of this stuff is data mined, all this stuff is still on the PTR, so everything is subject to change. With all that said, let's go down the list by class. Starting with Demon Hunters, we have Chaos Theory. It's a cloak, and this will give your Blade Dance a 15% chance to grant you Chaos Blades for 6 seconds. Oblivion's Embrace go on the legs. This lets your Demon Spikes and Empower Wards have one additional charge. The Demon Hunter class ring is the Soul of the Slayer. This will either give them first blood or fallout. Moving on to Death Knights, we have Soul Flare's Corruption, which goes on your chest. This will cause your Blood Play to gain 100% increased damage and healing. Cold Heart also happens to go onto the chest. With this, every one second you gain a stack of what's called Cold Heart, which causes your next Chains of Ice to deal additional frost damage. This stacks up to 30 times, which means it'll presumably cause that much more damage, and when you use Chains of Ice at 30 stacks, it's going to stun your target for 5 seconds. Finally, we have Death Screamers, which causes your Festering Strike to spawn a Risen Skulker for 22 seconds, but this can only occur once every 60 seconds, and we're not sure if this proc is affected by any other effects. For Death Knights, their class ring is the Soul of the Death Lord. Depending on their spec, you'll either get Foul Bulwark, Gathering Storm, or Bursting Sores. Moving on to Druids, Radiant Moonlight goes onto your back. It causes Full Moon to become Full Moon once again before resetting into New Moon. Also on your back is the Fury of Nature. With this, you deal 30% increased nature and arcane damage, and for the damage that is done, you get healed for 30% of it. Chameleon Sun goes on the helmet slot. It gives your wild growth a 15% chance to give you Tree of Life for 12 seconds. And of course, since they're greedy, druids also get the Behemoth Headdress which goes onto your head. This will cause the duration of your Tiger's Fury to be increased by 0.4 seconds for every combo point that's spent. The class ring for druids is called Soul of the Arch Druid. With this, regardless of your spec, you'll gain the Soul of the Forest talent. Now for Hunters, the Celerity of the Windrunners will cause your Wind Burst to give you 15% extra haste for 6 seconds. In the same slot is the Unseen Predator's Cloak. This will give you 10% more crit against enemies burning from your explosive traps. Lastly, there's Parcel's Tongue that goes on the chest. This will make your Cobra Shot give you a stacking debuff up to 4 times, and for every stack, you and your pet gain 1% damage, and you get 2% leech for 8 seconds. The class ring for Hunters is Soul of the Huntmaster, which will either give them Bestial Fury, Lock and Load, or Serpent Sting. Monks get a helmet called the Wind Blows. It makes your Strike of the Windlord have a 20% reduced cooldown, and presumably when you use it, it makes your next Blackout Kick cost no chi. Storm Stout's Last Gasp is a tongue twister, and it happens to go in the shoulder slot. This gives Keg Smash an additional charge, as well as a 25% increased radius. The Doorway to Nowhere goes on their back. With this, Essence Font has a 20% chance to summon Chiji for 15 seconds. The class ring for monks is called Soul of the Grand Master. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Mystic Vitality, Mist Wrap, or Chi Orbit. For mages, they get the Contained Infernal Core, which goes on your shoulders. From the looks of it, casting Fireball or Pyroblast will build a stacking buff, and when you get to 10, it'll call down the Meteor on your current target. The Shattered Fragments of Sindragrosa basically act the same way as the Fire-based Legendary. In this case, casting 8 Frostbolts or Flurries will call down a Comet Storm on whatever your current target is. The Mantle of the First Kirin Tor also goes onto your shoulders, and it makes it so that your Arcane Barrage has a 15% chance per Arcane charge that you spend to launch an Arcane Orb in front of you. The class ring for Mages is the Soul of the Archmage. This will either give them Temporal Flux, Flame On, or Frozen Touch. Rogues will get the Empty Crown as a helmet. This will cause their Kingsbane ability to generate 50 energy over 5 seconds. The first of the dead is a pair of gloves. These make your Symbols of Death grant 30 energy and increases your damage done by 10% for 8 seconds. The Curse of Restlessness goes on your back. This makes Restless Blades reduce the cooldown of the Curse of the Dread Blades by 0.25 seconds per combo point spent. The class ring for Rogues is called Soul of the Shadow Blade, and for all specs, they'll get the Vigor Talent for free. 
For WoW's greatest class, they get the Pillars of Inmost Light on their shoulders. This makes the Eye of Tear deal 3 times the damage and has a 25% reduced cooldown. The Scarlet Inquisitor's Expertation goes on the Paladin's chest. This creates a slowly stacking debuff. Every 2 seconds, they gain 1 stack up to 30, and for each stack used, they'll do 10% increased damage to their next Divine Storm. The Topless Tower goes on the Helmet slot. It causes Light of Dawn to have a 10% chance to grant Avenging Wrath for 8 seconds. The class ring for Paladins is called Soul of the High Lord. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Holy Shield or Divine Purpose. Priests will pick up the Heart of the Void for their chest. It causes their Void Eruption to deal 4 times the damage, and it heals you for 40% of the damage done. The Alabaster Lady goes on the Helm slot. This gives your Prayer of Mending a 15% chance to give you Apotheosis for 8 seconds. They also get Inhalation on the shoulders. It makes your Power Word Radiance have a 25% chance to give you Power Infusion for 9 seconds. The class ring for Priest is called Soul of the High Priest. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Twist of Fate or Surge of Light. For Shaman, they'll get the Smoldering Heart on their hands. With this, casting Earthshock or Earthquake has a chance to grant you Ascendance for 10 seconds. With the Primal Ascendant Stormcallers, those goes on your shoulders by the way, Rockbiter has a 10% chance to give you Ascendance for 10 seconds. Fire in the Deep goes onto the chest, and this causes a Healing Rain to give a 15% chance to give Ascendance for 6 seconds. The class ring for Shaman is called Soul of the Farseer. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Tempest or Echo of the Elements. Warriors will get Ararat's Blood Mirror. This gives their shield block and spell reflection an additional charge. Valajar's Berserkers go on the legs, and this gives their Rampage Critical Strikes an additional 6 Rage. The Great Storm's Eye gives you a buff called Ravager. This will increase your movement speed by 10%, as well as your damage done by 4% for 6 seconds, and this stacks up to 6 times. For Warriors, their class ring is Soul of the Battle Lord. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Deadly Calm, Massacre, or Vengeance. Warlocks will receive the Master Harvester for their chest. With this, each Soul Shard spent has a 10% chance to grant Soul Harvest for 8 seconds. The class ring for Warlocks is called Soul of the Netherlord. Depending on your spec, you'll either get Death's Embrace, Grimoire of Synergy, or Eradication. And while that's it for Warlocks, you can probably count on more legendaries to come for them in a future build. I want to remind everyone that once again, this is all mostly data mined information and really should be taken with a grain of salt. Everything here is subject to change and for all we know, not everything here will be implemented as is. Or at all. So that's it, you made it to the end and you are now buried in legendaries. As for what I think overall, I do think that it's cool that they're adding more legendaries. I think it's kind of a brave and risky thing that they're doing with adding these legendary rings. But overall, I'm looking forward to the reiterations that are bound to come over the course of the PTR. If you have thoughts on your spec or your class's legendary lineup, feel free to share a thought in the comment below. Like, sub, and support for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Sol. Stay breezy, guys.